Hey guys, so in my last video, I did a full review on my travel backpack, the Fjall Robin Classic Konkin Backpack. And the reason why I did a full review on that backpack was because that was what I was using as a travel backpack and it was so beat up and it was just time to get a new one. If you are interested in the Fjall Robin Classic Konkin Backpack, you really wanna know what it looks like, how it functions, what are some of the features of the bag, then definitely check out that video. I'll go ahead and link it above. And as promised, I did get a new travel backpack. And that is what this video is all about. So hey, I'm Kim and this is K-Rod Collective. So inside of this bag is my brand new travel backpack. I thought that it would be great to sit down right here with you guys and unbox this baby. So are you ready? I feel like I need a, a drum roll. Let's see. Da -da -da. Well, that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> Say hello to the Fjall Raven Konkin 15 inch laptop bag. So this is a Konkin like my old one, but it's a different version of the Konkin. So it's a little bit different to the classic Konkin. And since my old backpack was so beat up and old, kind of gross, I thought it would be great for you to see what it looks like freshly delivered in its original state. So this video is going to be a little similar to my last video, except that I think what I'll quickly do is walk you through the Konkin laptop backpack, share with you some of the features of this particular bag, and talk about some of the differences between the classic Konkin and the laptop backpack. Because they're very similar, but they're also different. They have a ton of different types of bags. I think they have 37 different varieties of the Konkin. So they have the Recon Konkin, which I believe is a, is used primarily from recycled material. They have the classic Konkin, which is the one that I was using before. They have a couple of laptop bags, which is a new one that I have. They've also got a Konkin sling, which you can sling over your shoulder or around your body instead of on your back. They also have mini Konkins, which are smaller than the classic Konkin. So they just have a variety of bags to choose from and more specifically Konkin bags to choose from. So they do have a travel specific bag and I believe it's called the travel pack. They have a large version and a small version. There's a little bit more organization more pockets to really organize your stuff. And I think with that particular backpack, when you zip it open, it looks like the inside of a piece of luggage, like a carry-on luggage. I don't have a travel backpack that, that is specifically designed for travel. I Because I did have a moment where I thought, you know, I've been using the Konkin for so long. Maybe I should branch out. Maybe I should, you know, try a different brand. I think I'm just, I'm so used to the Konkin and I love it so much and it's been so good for me and I find it to be so functional. I'm just so used to to what I know. I don't know. Maybe I'll look into it. What do you guys think? I don't know. So this is what it looks like brand new. Wow. Do you see the difference? Please tell me. Please tell me you can see the difference. Brand spanking new, grungy and old. I definitely feel like it's a world of difference here. It comes with a tag on it. It states what kind of conkin it is. So this is a little bit more expensive than my old backpack. So the price. So this does vary in price from the classic Konkin and this one's a little bit more expensive. The classic Konkin is $80 plus tax and shipping. So there are three different laptop backpacks that you can choose from. There's a 13 inch, the 15 inch, and the 17 inch. So the 13 inch is $110. The 15 inch is $120 and the 17 inch is $130 all of this plus tax and shipping. I ordered my backpack directly off the website. Their logo has changed just a little bit. There are two dots above both A's in Fjall Raven. And I don't know if that's a Swedish symbol or accent. I don't know the word for it. The Vi nylon material that is used to make the Konkin backpack on this one, because it's new, is a lot stiffer. This is thick and very stiff. And I think it's because the Vi nylon material that is very stiff in the beginning, but over time it starts to soften and loosen a bit. This backpack, the material is not as stiff. You see, it's very soft. I can mold it, I can squish it, and I can't do that with this one right now because the material is so fresh but i can only imagine that after a couple of uses and actually going out and living life and traveling with this the material is gonna get softer and kind of break down a little bit so that's the first thing i noticed that is different so this one is 40 centimeters in height which is a little bit less than 16 inches so it's a little bit bigger than the classic konkin it is 28 centimeters in width which is 11 inches which is half an inch bigger than the classic konkin and the volume is 18 liters it's really not that much bigger than the 
classic konkan. There's not a big shift or change in that. It does provide me with that extra inch or half an inch that I was really looking for. Like I said, I, I don't think I'm interested or looking and going in any bigger than this because the pockets actually look a little bit bigger than the classic one. Actually test this out and check and see. When I measure it here, a half an inch bigger, which doesn't seem like a lot, but I think that that extra room is really gonna make a difference. Ooh, I'm excited about that. Yeah, and it's longer. It's a little bit longer as well. So it's a little bit longer in length and about half an inch wider in width. If you're talking about price-wise, this is $40 more expensive. And okay, it may not be that that big of a that, that big of a jump measurement wise. So it kind of seems like you're not getting that much more space, but I don't know. For me, that little bit, that one inch extra, I think it's gonna make a difference. I'm so excited about this extra space. So as far as the outside, it still has that classic Konkin shape, that rectangle shape, which I really love, and it really makes packing a breeze and also packing books and computers and all sorts of stuff that you need. So that is still the same. I also noticed that the rain flaps are still the same. It has these rain flaps at the top and the zipper for the front pocket. With my old backpack, I was flipping, I flipped the rain flaps up because I wanted easier access to the zippers. And I imagine that I will probably do the same with this backpack. Because there is a separate compartment for the laptop, these zippers in the back are also, also have the rain flap in the back. So it stops rain and water from seeping into your backpack and destroying any contents within the backpack. And so I totally understand that, but I just am not the biggest fan of it. So I probably, I probably will flip up my, uh, my rain flaps on this backpack again. Double zip is still here, which is fantastic because I love a good double zip because I love being able to lock my bag if I need to, especially if I'm staying at a hotel or I'm staying in a hostel with other people. It also does have that uh, those double straps with the snap at the top. You can hold it from the top if you'd like to. It's got, so it's also got the straps and it has this buckles at the top. Adjust the straps. It also has the side pockets like the classic Konkin. The pockets are still, you know, still don't have any elastic on them so they can't, can't expand. And still, this water bottle, not happening. So that's still the same. It still has the X mount on the back, but I read that this X that they make in the back with the, with the straps is intentional and it's called an X mount. It helps to distribute weight. The laptop backpack does have this back zipper. Now this back zipper is for the laptop compartment. So it has its own separate laptop compartment and space, which is oh so exciting. It's amazing. I love it. And it is, it has a little 15 inch marker there. And what's really cool about this is that it feels like it's padded. Oh, yeah. So it's got a padded space for the laptop and I think that this little extra padding is really gonna protect protect the laptop. So I am so excited about that. And it's got the, um, the double zipper again in the back, the straps. So one of my complaints about that bag is I, I do think that the straps are comfortable, but when you have too many things in there and you are really traveling the distance with that bag, sometimes because the straps are so thin, they can dig into your shoulders. I found that sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, especially when I needed to have my backpack on for a long period of time, I had a little bit of shoulder pain from it. Good thing about the laptop bag is there is padding on the shoulder straps. So this is really exciting. Honestly, guys, I am so excited about these small little changes between the laptop bag and the classic. I just, I feel like I'm really showing my nerd self here, but I'm just so excited about it. So yes, there is some padding here on the shoulder straps. So that's great. And what I love about it too is that they do have snap-in uh, shoulder pads that you can buy for the classic Konkin, but these are not snapped on. And I think that that's what I really like about this. They're sewn on. So they're really... They're in there. They're not snap pads. These are actually sewn on. The zipper in the large compartment zips all the way around and it zips all the way down. But the zippers for the laptop compartment only zip halfway. 
so only the first part of it comes down it makes sense yeah okay great see i'm already folding it i can't help myself so let's open it up and see what the inside looks like oh it's so nice in there <laughs> large compartment but see see that this is the seat pad that i was talking about in the last video that i said don't throw away the old inside and the new inside yeah 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 it's much nicer so the inside of the bag has a much bigger name tag from what i can see it does have the seat pad and i'm not going to throw it away this time which can come out and it looks like it's just a styrofoam so i think once i start to use it a little bit more then i think i could come back and do a more in-depth review of the laptop bag and talk more about the laptop compartment itself i will see you guys next week bye so let's just go ahead and remove this oh, it's so fresh Still good. I love this thing. Thank you so much for the years of service that you've provided for me. You know what? I heard with some orders they were putting in the bag a couple of Swedish fish. If that's true, I got some questions. I like Swedish fish. Maybe they don't do it anymore because of the pandemic, but there's no Swedish fish in here. That's for sure. Mm -mm, no.